Hey, um, so in this one, I'm just gonna kind of dub over the fact of how I go about um, creating proper UV unwraps uh, for my projects in the future. So here I'll start off with the default cube. I'll put the cube in its um, proper positioning as usual um, in my default position. Um, and I um, upload a material for it. Um, in this instance, the material will be your basic um, BSDF um, or your principal. And then I get myself the image texture. In the image texture, you just click on the new instead of open, and then you select the UV grid. Um, so this once viewed in rendered or pre-rendered mode, will show you the UV grid um, so that you can see exactly what you're doing when you manipulate these UVs uh, so when you're unwrapping so I go over to my um, UV area so we know that's open I go into edit mode um, in the um, 3D workspace here I have the goal to create an unwrapped box like you can see in the UV region so here um, the bits that I'm clicking are the bits that I'm actually cutting um, and so if I was to cut the top bit um, it opens up in a way that does not make sense um, so if you click the bottom region then if you think of it the head will open up the two bits that I've cut um, all the orange bits are gonna open up from the bits that don't have orange lines um, so it'd be like two wings and a head that will open up as it were um, and so when you um, now mark your seams for your right clicking and selecting mark seam you then select the entire box and then you go to UV and then you select unwrap once you unwrap it you then rotate the box into a proper positioning um, that suits your needs in this instance it took me quite a little bit of time to get this particular um, object in its right um, orientation so as to make the UV unwrap uh, perfect to my liking um, as I was eyeballing the majority of this part and that's roughly how you UV unwrap um, your um, materials onto an object um, so this is very important because obviously when you're working with maybe your characters or you're working with um, maybe you're creating an object um, that you would like to uh, as a representation um, for development maybe for a store or like a chair or a bed uh, a tv or anything of um, such a nature um, well now you can i can use um, specific details such as photoreal photorealism um, or anything along that line so as to UV unwrap my work in a fashion that now actually lines up and makes sense ultimately anyway guys so what I decided to do was um, just keep the video rolling so I could show you um, roughly how I got around this little glitch as it were which is not really a glitch it's just um, I was trying many methods to figure out how to um, ensure that all my lines met the seam so I didn't have that kind of like white line going through my UV edit um, ultimately what I had to do was rather than try to connect these lines up to be perfectly aligned with the uh, margin grid um, I just needed to um, resize my whole um, um, orientation of the grid box the whole UV um, box mapping after doing that everything is aligned the way how it's supposed to be as you can see on the other UV box there was no gap from um, the margin um, when pairing the UV um, so um, here I figured it was the sides here um, and I don't know if this is a common mistake or what uh, but it's the first time I bumped into this area um, of my own because I didn't have that with the previous box um, but I found uh, the resolve and the resolve was simply to because um, as you can see here nothing's really working and it's when I realized when I select a whole box and I move it along the Y um, 
I think I started off with the X, but I moved it along the way. I realized, um, uh, um, what I will need to do is just select everything and scale the box or maybe probably even move the box um, into the right position. So if it's not scaling, then what you have to do, I think in my case, actually, what I had to do was move the box over on the Y axis um, just so everything aligned up just the way I wanted it to. Um, so if it's not um, a scaling issue, then it's just a um, location issue. Uh, so once you move it into the right place then everything should be perfect as you want it to be so anyway guys um that's how i was able to um uh that's the work through of the uvs that's how i was able to deal with my um, own problem solving within the uv um and i hope you guys enjoyed the video um it's your boy patient you can farm your likes and those comments down below um and if you have any queries guys Hi, look, hi, look, your boy, hi, look, hey, what's up?